mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! across our port bow. Contact them. Intrepid Bell, it is I, Atacogla, the Spider Lord. And I'm Commander Nora Nebulon. Why are you firing at us? We wish to dock our ship. We've been traveling for many days. My spider soldiers need to stretch their legs. But that's no reason to shoot lasers at us. How else am I to get your attention? I've tried calling, but no one answers. Impossible. Docking communications are constantly monitored by Ensign Larry here. Hi, Commander. Larry, what happened? The communications terminal, it's, it's turned off. Oh, yeah, I know. I needed to use the computer to make some birthday cards. Birthday cards? <laughs> See? They're real pretty. What manner of nincompoop have you allowed onto your bridge? Don't worry, Spider Lord. And please, accept our apologies. You may commence docking procedures at once. He seemed like a very nice man. Larry, what do you think you're doing printing birthday cards? That's not part of your job. Golly, I'm sorry, Commander. How about a big apology hug? People do not hug on the bridge, Larry. They perform functions that are vital to the well-being of this station. So please, from now on, pay attention and keep your mind on your work. Okay, I promise. Cross my heart. Good. See to it. I've got a lot of docking vectors to calibrate. Well done, Larry. The commander's mad at me, huh? Of course he's mad. You hopelessly follow up nearly every task she gives you. I'm gonna do something to make her feel better. I'll make her some of her favorite cookies. Commander, I have an incoming communication. On screen. Mom, did you see it? There was this big ship firing at us. Yes, we know about it, Lloyd. The situation is under control. Oh, good. Because we've kind of got another emergency. Oh, I'm making cookies, hi dee diddly dee A cookie making, here I go, a hi dee diddly do. Larry! One minute, Commander. I'm in the middle of a very important job. Larry, come here now. Yes, ma'am. There's a problem in the park I really don't have time to deal with. That's very sad, but don't worry. I have a plan to make you happy. It would make me happy if you would go to the park and handle it. But I have to... Larry, no buts. So you say the fuzzy purple grabbed your hover disk and ran in here and now you can't get her out? That's right. That is a real emergency. It's a good thing I came. Wait right here. Purple. Oh, Purple, where are you? It's me, Larry. You've got my pal's hover disk and they really need it. Excuse me, boys, have you seen my Purple by chance? Well, we have seen a Purple. Yeah, he's in there. With our hover disk. Oh, dear. What a hopeless development. One thing I know about my little snookums is once he climbs into a vent, there's simply no getting him out. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness, why, here he is right now. Naughty, naughty snookums. You're never to run away again. Wow. But no, I forbid this. Snookums. Well, at least we got our dish back. All thanks to our friend Larry. Way to go, man. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Thanks, Larry. It was easy, but you're very welcome. Well, hey, you want to stick around and play with us? Oh, thank you kindly, but I'm not really sure that I should. Nonsense, Larry. I insist. You do? Not only that, but as the best friend of the commander's son, I hereby order you to play with us. Oh, well, okay. I mean, yes, sir. All right, then. Here it comes. <laughs> That's a fun game. Did I play good? Well, actually, Larry, you're kind of supposed to catch the disc. Catch the disc. Got it. Can do. Let's try again. Okay, Larry. Let's see you catch this. Oh, oh, I got it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Larry, are you okay? Boy, that was fun. Let's play some more. This is definitely the wildest game I ever played. Wait a Larry to make hover disk 73% more entertaining. Hey guys, get ready! Coming at ya! Oh no, it's taking a nap! The batteries must be dead. Oh man. That's okay. We can get some from the bridge. We keep some there in case of an emergency. Come on! Here we are, pals. The bridge. My home away from home. Um, are you sure it's okay to use the emergency batteries for a hover disk? I mean, what if they're actually needed for some kind of emergency? Oh, don't worry. Nothing ever goes wrong up here. Ooh. Oh, what the? Larry! Hi, 
Commander. Hi, Dunkirk. How come you're covered in cookie dough? You imbecile! You forgot to turn off the cookie dough machine. It blew its circuits and went haywire. Boy, I'm awful sorry. I'll turn off the machine next time. There isn't going to be a next time, Larry. This is the last straw. Oh, we're out of straws? I can get you a spoon. That's not what I mean, Larry. I'm asking you to turn in your uniform. But, Commander, I'll look real silly working on the bridge in my underwear. You won't be working on the bridge anymore because you're fired. Fired! Do you understand? Oh, I'm fired? Okay. <laughs> what was that all about? Our friend Larry has lost his job. Thank you, boys. I've never been so disturbed in all my life. Okay, Mom. I admit this looks pretty bad, but Larry's been working on the bridge for as long as I can remember. Couldn't you please give him another chance? He's had a lot of chances, Lloyd. The sad fact is he just wasn't cut out for his job. But what's he gonna do? Well, that's up to him. Right now, I've got a disaster to contend with. But, Mom! Enough, Lloyd. Someday, when you're a commander, you'll understand. I sent for the Scoopy droids, Dunkirk. Meanwhile, I'm gonna change out of this messy uniform. Likewise, Commander. I smell like a giant ginger snap. Well, so here we are. Just us and all the raw cookie dough we can eat. Me love cookies. Cookies start with C. We can't just sit around here eating cookie dough. Larry lost his job. Indeed. And I, for one, feel somewhat responsible. After all, if we hadn't made him play hover disc, this never would have happened. No, oh, we're evil. Thanks a lot. Now you got me feeling guilty. But what are we supposed to do? Well, we could go apologize. Yay! We'll be nice again! Indeed! 13W, this is the place. Hey, it's my pals. What's up, pals? Uh, we just wanted to come by and talk. Yeah, you know, seeing as how you lost your job and all. Oh, okay. Come on in. This is my apartment. It's where I live. We can talk here. Oh, okay, good. You see, the thing is, we feel kind of bad about what happened to you. To be more precise, we're sorry. Aw, oh, don't be silly. No need to be sorry. So then you're doing okay? I'm super okay. Happy as a quark. Oh, that's good. Say, uh, you sure got a lot of stuff on the walls. I sure do. Look, this is the medal Commander Nebulon gave me. It says, Most Improved Effort. You must be very proud. Aw, oh, Commander Nebulon gives everyone a medal. She's such a great commander. She's my hero. But aren't you a little upset that she, you know... Fired you? Ha, huh, me? Upset? What a hilarious idea. This here's a picture of me and Dunkirk from the bridge costume party. I was a salad. It was the most fun ever. Goodness, Larry, we expected you to be depressed, but you seem unfazed by your recent disemployment. Well, you know what? It's like my Uncle Mortimer always used to say. Always look on the bright side. I will, Uncle Mortimer. He spent 70 years all alone in the lighthouse, but he never complained. That's really something. Well, we just wanted to make sure you're doing okay. And it seems like you are, so I guess we'll see you later. Oh, wait, there's something else. What is it? <laughs> I was just pretending to be okay, but I'm not okay at all. I miss my job. I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, well, perhaps you can get another job, eh? No, I don't think so. I don't know how to do anything. I don't even know how to find a job. Well, hey, maybe we could help you. <laughs> really? You'd help me? But golly, you guys don't know how to find grown-up jobs. Are you kidding? Eddie Horton is totally hooked into the employment scene. In fact, now that I think of it, I've already got a job in mind. You do? Yep. All I gotta do is put in a word with my high-level connection. Thanks for hiring Larry, Dad. Well, I reckon it's the least I can do. You won't regret it, Mr. Horton. Good luck with your new job, Larry. Knock him dead. For Larry. Make us proud. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to get started, officers. Well, now the thing of it is, I'm not quite sure what to do with you. We've never had a civilian assistant before. Oh, I can do lots to help. Here, let me take your fingerprints. I'm a cop. I don't need my fingerprints. Oh, well, maybe Officer Bork would like a back rub. Bork don't exactly go in for back rubs. Oh, yeah, I can see why. Well, how about that guy? I could cheer him up. He looks kind of down. Don't help him. That's Morgo, the notorious melting bandit. <laughs> Hi, Morgo. Oh, Larry, what am I going to do with you? I can sing a song, or I can be a judge, or I can clean. Cleaning. That's good. Why don't you start cleaning? Oh, thank you, officers. I think that first I'll dust. Dum -de dum 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 That's dum -de -dum -de -dum fine, Larry. You go right ahead and dust. With any luck, that'll keep you busy for a good long time. <laughs> dusting, dusting, dum -de dum 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 Hey, your files and tables are very dusty, but not nearly as dusty as this plug. <laughs> You unplug the laser cage! I am free! Free to melt whatever I please! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, great. Bork, get the freezer laser. We gotta track him down all over again. Hey, guys, wait for me. I can help you. Sorry, Larry, but you won't be helping us anymore. You mean... <laughs> That's right. Sorry, but you're fired. Hope you find another job. Another job? Where am I gonna find another job? Welcome to Zico's! Thanks for giving Larry a job, Dad. I hope I can handle this. I make a lot of mistakes. No need to worry. I make copies for a living. There's no way you can screw up making copies. Sounds good to me. Let's give it a try. Good luck, Larry. Get to it, buddy. See you later. Bye. So, let's get started. First, we stand around and wait for a customer. Yay, here's one now. Hey, copy guy, I need this copied. Yes, sir, one copy coming up. All right, Larry, here's what you have to do. Take this original document and slip it right into this slot on the copy machine. Whoopee! There it goes. Well done. Now what happens? As we speak, this part of the machine is scanning the molecular structure of the original. That information is then passed on to this part of the machine, which utilizes subatomic matter to create an exact molecular duplicate. See? There was one, and now there's two. Boy, that's nifty. Whoa, yeah, that's, that's fascinating. Oh, wait, no. What I meant to say was, just give me my stupid copy already, will you? Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Did I do good, Kurt's dad? Better than good, Larry. You did fine. Congratulations, you are now an official copy clerk. At long last, I have a job. Hooray, hooray. High five. <laughs> Sorry, I won't do it again. Larry, I... Yo, oh, bloof. I really ought to fire you for this. But I just can't bring myself to do it. I can. You're fired. Oh, it's no use. I can't do anything right. Don't worry. This job you can't possibly fail at. That's right. Because as we understand from watching you, Boomer, you pretty much just sit around all day and do nothing. Yep, easiest job in the galaxy. I got a feeling Larry's going to make a great assistant docking bay assistant. Well, okay, if you say so. I guess I could give it a try. Not only will you try, but you will succeed. That's right, buddy. Your long job search is finally over. Thanks, guys. Okay, should I start doing nothing? Sure, go ahead. Gee willikers, Mr. Boomer. Now that I'm trying to do nothing, I don't remember how. Allow me to demonstrate. Wow, you're really a professional. It's my speciality. I find that if you stay totally still, you can actually feel the good vibes from all the happy folks here on our station of love. Commander, an irate citizen is calling to complain. Oh, not another one. I'm in the middle of a quad-level emissions diagnostic. He's rather persistent. All right, let's hear him. Hey, what gives? Today's my birthday and I didn't get no cards! Sorry, Mr. Stinko, but sending birthday cards is not an official bridge function. Happy birthday anyway. <laughs> Yet another complaint coming in. Uh, Commander Lady, I totally ordered my official Intrepidville sweatshirt like weeks ago. And it was so supposed to come in today, but hello, no sweatshirt. I don't know anything about official sweatshirts. I've never heard of such a thing. <sighs> Whatever. What is it with people today? Ma'am, my purple's been acting peevish. Could you send someone to cheer him up? Mr. Figglewiggin, we don't have time to play with pets. <laughs> oh dear, he's run off again. Now I'll never find him. We just got 12 more calls, Commander. Oh, could this day get any worse? Apparently so. There's an emergency in the docking bay. Some nitwit has opened the airlock. I'm impressed, man. I didn't know anyone could wreak so much havoc just by sitting down. I guess I shouldn't have sat on this button that says danger, do not press. Can I go back to doing nothing now? Sorry, dude, but you're doing nothing days are over. Am I fired? Pretty much. Hope you're not too bummed. No, no, no. I'm fine. I'm just dandy. <laughs> Come in! Hi, Larry. We heard about the docking bay incident. I saw a ladder float by my window! Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I goof up every job I try. Oh, come on, man. It's not that bad. Yes, it is. I don't belong on this station, so I'm leaving. I'm going far, far away where I can get a job I'm good at. Where the heck is that? I'm going all the way to the Great Void. I'm going to be a lighthouse keeper, just like my Uncle Mortimer. But, Larry, that's crazy. You can't leave Intrepidville. I can, and I must. Goodbye forever, pals. I'm going away, and I'm never, ever, ever coming back. Goodness, Larry gone forever? I can hardly believe it. Always look on the bright side. The bright side? Man, there ain't no bright side to this. Oh, 
Snookums. I miss you so much. Hey, Zeptar, you call this a big LARP? Well, you can have it. I'm going to make Zoggles. Griffitron, this big LARP you made is only a third of a kilotron. We can't call them big LARPs if they're not big. What's gotten into you? Sorry, boss. Guess I'm just feeling out of sorts. Today's my birthday, and I didn't get a single card. <laughs> Is it there, Daddy? Is it there? Oh, I'm sorry, little Billy. Still no knock-knock newsletter. Why do we bother going on? Oh, there, there. There's always tomorrow, Billy. Yeah, right. I must say, everyone seems to be in an unpleasant mood these days. Yeah, it's probably because of that annoying music. The same song keeps playing over and over. Well, I know why I feel crummy. I keep thinking about Larry. I mean, because of us, he's off on some dumb old lighthouse in the middle of nowhere. He must be so sad. Well, hey guys, how about maybe we give him a call and cheer him up? If cheering Larry up will cheer me up, then I'm all for it. A capital idea! Let's use a phone! dum dee dum wee 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 it's the jolly lighthouse life for me. How about you? Are you having a good time? Good. It's good to have a good time. Oh, hang on, here's the phone. Ahoy there! Hi, Larry! Hey guys, long time no see. What's up? Listen, we were just calling because, well... We were worried about you. Aw, oh, thanks, guys, but no need to worry about me. I'm real happy. You are? Yeah, I finally found a job I'm really good at. I haven't screwed up yet. I'm very proud of myself. And Bulby's proud of me, too. Aren't you, Bulby? Uh, that's a light bulb. Uh-huh. She's my best friend. Don't stare at her. She doesn't like that. So, uh, okay. If you and Bulby are happy, then I guess we're happy for you. Thanks, guys. I'll be staying here forever. Bye-bye, people from my past. This is where I belong, isn't it, Bulby? I agree. Well, so much for cheering up Larry. He already seemed plenty happy to me. Yes, but for some reason, I feel more depressed than ever. Great rectangle! What is it, Dunkirk? My lucky bamboo! It's all brown and withered! Now I'm doomed to bad fortune! It's okay, Dunkirk. I'm sure it just needs to be watered. Watered? Of course! But I've never watered it. Well, someone must have. I'll get some water from the cooler. Oh, slap knock, the cooler's empty. Sweet quadrangle! We have no water! It's okay, we'll just refill the cooler. Uh, do you know how to refill it? Don't ask me, it's always just seemed to be full. Oh, will our tribulations never end? Commander Nebulon! Commander Nebulon! Mr. Figglewiggin? Please, Commander Nebulon! I'm in the midst of a terrible crisis! My precious Snookums has been missing for a week! Holy parallelogram! What now? Oh, there's a red alert in engineering. Engineering, bridge here. What's going on down there, Nessie? Commander, something has lodged itself in the reactor chamber, and it's destabilizing the whole works. We'll be having a total core meltdown in about ten minutes. The whole jiggery station will go kablooey. Have you identified the object? I haven't. By the verdict, it's a wee small perf. Oh, my precious snookums! Oh, he always hides in warm places when he's acting up. Well, how do you get him out? I always call Larry. Larry? Great. All right, Dunkirk, contact my son and see if he knows where Larry went. I'm headed to engineering. I right, come under right quick. Cast a peep into the reactor core. The little laddie's wedged up back of the throbbing bosa plasma. Has anyone tried going in? Chings are ye blithering. Only a purple could survive inside that there inferno. Well, I would call him out, but he never listens to me. She better listen to somebody, cause that car's melting down in two minutes. All right, step aside, Mr. Figglewiggin. I'll deal with this. Here, Perfy. Here, girl. What's a good purple? You're a good purple. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Now come to mommy with a pearl. Or if you want to come out and play the doozy with mommy, dummy. Mom? Lloyd. Oh, thank Muffton. Do you know where Larry is? Yeah, he got a job at a lighthouse out in the Great Void. The Great Void? But that's a five-hour flight from here. And only one minute and 30 wee seconds left before we all go come on. We're doomed. Doomed? This can't be the end of Eddie Horton. Hi. Larry. What are you doing here? I'm hanging out in the engine room with you guys. No, I mean, why are you here? Oh, you got a minute? I'll explain. One minute till meltdown. You can explain later, Larry. Right now, I need you to get that purple out of the reactor. Okay. Hello, Mr. Purple. Now let me ask you a question. Why exactly do you want to hide away inside that reactor? Oh, Larry, I'm just depressed. It talks? I didn't know that. I did. So how come you're depressed? Mr. Figglewingen is such a pompous buffoon. I really don't enjoy being his pet. But sadly, it's the only job that I could get. Oh, well, you could look on the bright side. There's more to life than just your job. There is? Sure, there's me, for example. I'm your friend. Don't you like to be with friends? Yes, I suppose. Ten seconds till meltdown. So come on out. We can play some hover disc. I'm very good at it. Five seconds. Hmm. Averted. We are out of danger. You did it, Larry. Yeah, but what are you doing here? I figured we'd never see you again. That's what I thought. I finally had a job I was good at. But then after I hung up with you guys, there I was, alone with Bulby. She's a light bulb. Light bulbs aren't real people. I've noticed that too. 
and I can't do nice things for a light bulb, like send it birthday cards or water its plants. Doing nice things for people is what makes me happy. Wait a minute. You're the one who watered my plant. Oh, sure. I used to do that in the morning, right after changing the station's easy listening background music. So you're the guy who changes the music? Sweatshirts, the knock-knock newsletter. I'd wager those were your doing, too. They were my doing, too. My, Larry. All those little things. I never realized you were such a big part of our daily lives. Intrepidville is my life, Commander. It's where I belong. So I don't care what job I get next, because I'm here to stay. Mom, you've got to give him this job back. Well, I'm afraid Larry's just not cut out to be the bridge communications ensign. You're very right. So, I'm promoting you to Lieutenant of Morale. Yay! I'm very happy. Lieutenant Larry, I would like to officially remark that, uh... Oh, gosh darn it, welcome back. I missed you, little buddy. Oh, Snookums, I've missed you too. Won't you please come home? Fiddlewiggin, there's only one way I'd ever go home with you again. And that's if I were the master and you were the pet. Me? A pet? Why not? Huh? It's a living.